Princess Charlotte, 4, joined her big brother Prince George, 6, at St. Thomas's Battersea last week. The usually lively princess seemed shy as she was dropped off by her parents Prince William and Kate, Duchess of Cambridge for her first day at school. Tugging on her ponytail as she met her new teacher, the little royal clung to mum as she made her way to the front door. But the four-year-old wasn't shy for long. Charlotte was said to be excited about starting big school alongside her brother George and managed to muster an adorable wave to cameras. The young royal is said to be more outgoing than her big brother and earned herself a gutsy nickname at Wilcox Nursery, where she was deemed a tomboy, a royal expert has claimed. Royal commentator Katie Nichol told Entertainment Tonight, the other nickname that she had when she was at Wilcox Nursery, which was up until just before the summer, was Warrior Princess. While royal children don't usually have surnames William and Kate's children take the last name Cambridge at school. So Charlotte will be known as Charlotte Cambridge by her classmates. Now she is at primary school it will be interesting to see whether her tomboy nickname sticks. Ms. Nichols said, I'm wondering if that might be a nickname that will stick with her. Apparently she earned that nickname because obviously, she is a princess, but she's quite a tomboy. She loves climbing trees and she's very much an adventurer, she was quite known for her feisty personality. St. Thomas's school biggest school rule is to be kind and its pupils are taught subjects including art, ballet, drama, ICT, French, music and PE. Earlier in the interview, Ms. Nichol also said, Charlotte will be known as Charlotte Cambridge, so that will be her name when she's called out on the register. But I suspect her friends will call her what most of her friends called her at Wilcox Nursery School, which is Lottie. Charlotte is said to be more confident than George and has delighted royal fans by playing up to the camera in the past. She and her big brother George were both snapped pulling cheeky faces as they watched their parents take part in a boat race in Cows last month. But the two went to school hand in hand last week, with George said to be fiercely protective over his young sister. Royal biographer Penny Junner told Hello! Magazine, Prince George is a very protective and lovely older brother. I'm sure he'll look after his little sister and take great pride in showing her the ropes. However, the Queen has previously hinted that may not be the case. Last year, when the Queen met a young prize winner at a school visit, she asked the youngster if she looked after her younger sister Hadla at school. Emily's mother Ellen replied, it's the other way around. The Queen then gave a brief insight into the lives of the Cambridge children, saying, it's like that with Charlotte and George. Princess Charlotte was accompanied by her mother Kate, Duchess of Cambridge, father Prince William and her older brother Prince George, 6, as she embarked on her first day at Thomas's Battersea on Thursday. The young royal will reportedly be called Charlotte Cambridge on the register at her new school, but royal commentator Katie Nichol also revealed another nickname used for the princess at her former nursery. Ms. Nichol told Entertainment Tonight, the other nickname that she had when she was at Wilcox Nursery, which was up until just before the summer, was Warrior Princess. I'm wondering if that might be a nickname that will stick with her. Apparently she earned that nickname because obviously she is a princess, but she's quite a tomboy. She loves climbing trees and she's very much an adventurer, she was quite known for her feisty personality. Earlier in the interview, Ms. Nichol also said, Charlotte will be known as Charlotte Cambridge, so that will be her name when she's called out on the register. But I suspect her friends will call her what most of her friends called her at Wilcox Nursery School, which is Lottie. That's a name that her parents call her. Charlotte, dressed in her school's uniform of navy blue with red trim cardigan and blue skirt, clung onto the arm of Kate before being greeted by the head teacher Helen Hoslam. Just as the new royal pupil will be called Charlotte Cambridge, George, 6, is known as George Cambridge. Charlotte was driven up to a side entrance of the school, while other pupils accompanied by their parents went in through the front. As the Cambridges walked from the car, Charlotte, normally much more confident than George, clung to her mother and held back. But she soon managed a wave. The family was greeted by head of the lower school Helen Hoslam, 
who shook hands with George and Charlotte. As Charlotte flicked her ponytail and cast a suspicious glance at the media and palace press corps, William told Ms. Haslam, first day, very excited. Kate asked her, how are you? Did you have a nice summer? Charlotte, who is fourth in line to the throne, has entered reception class and according to the school's website will be charged almost 2% less than her brother George, who has entered year two. The prestigious education center offers a discount for any additional family members who attended the school. The private school, rated outstanding by Ofsted, charges the eldest child who falls into the reception to year two bracket, 6,429 pounds per term. However the cost falls for the second child to 6,305 pounds, making a saving of 124 pounds. In three years time if their youngest brother Prince Louis, one, also attends the school, the cost for the third child comes in at 5,790 pounds.